Paul, now I understand Ecolean has been uh, into pouches since 2001. Uh, tell me how that came about and how the market has grown. It's hard for me actually to say so much about the early development. Uh, I'd rather talk about the five years where I've been with the company working okay. on the aseptic side. Yeah. I would say that uh, we worked hard for a couple of years leading up to the last Anuga, 2006, where we showed a one litre standing pouch with a septic. Since then we've had three more intensive years where we, I would say, proven in the one litre concept that we do reach the reality targets that are on industry level or above, that we keep the convenience that the consumers like with the package. At the same time we've also direct developed the, the portion pack sizes that we now show here. Right. And um, is it fair to say that often the pouch has been viewed as a sort of a cheaper option against all the other packaging formats, um, which is perhaps unfair? Yeah, it's true. I would say if you, there hasn't been pouches, you tend to regard it as the lying down pouch, difficult to reuse, which I think is quite good if you're the serious single serve which means you consume it and throw it away and uh, I think that's that's really is our strength I mean we show now a septic uh, but the base for us comes in the convenience the uniqueness that we give the the convenience that is really valuable uh, at the same time keeping the low profile from environmental point of the pouch right and and your recent uh, innovation is the uh, single serve pouch uh, is that a, that's a significant introduction, I would imagine? It, it is a significant introduction indeed. I think it opened up also for us to move away from the dairy side, where I would say the family sizes come in. I think we, for the small portion packs, it could be both very interesting for beverage side as well as for the dairy side. So there are new opportunities in that. Right. Where, where are your strong geographical markets? At the China and Russia. Definitely, yes. that there are two strongholds plus some parts of Europe. Right. So that's that's where we for sure are. And and, and are other markets likely to see growth? Do you think? Yes, they are. I think we are very much trying to follow the growth. Uh, I think you will see some inter interesting introductions of our package in Europe during the year. But our main potential we see in markets versus Southeast Asia, for instance, growing populations and uh, and. and and, and a lot of opportunity, and possibly also easier to catch up with trends in markets like that. Okay. Plus the continued growth in China, for instance. Right. So you foresee a, a good future? Yes, we see a good future. We've kept up with the double-digit growth for as long as I've been with the company, and, 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 and we see doubling every few years as a realistic uh, objective for us. Okay, Paul, thank you very much. Yeah, pleasure.